supposed to do is completely crash. What's going on guys? This is Cody the Improper Engineer and I want to talk to you today about the CR10X. So the announcement was just made about an hour ago about the CR10X and it looks very promising. It's a dual extruder CR10 that has all the parts fully encased, so no exposed wiring except the one ribbon cable that runs from your control box control box all the way up to your extruders. So this looks very, very cool. On top of that, they have no printed parts anymore. Nothing on the new CR10s or the nothing on the CRXs is printed. Now they claim it's an all metal printer. I'm assuming that they have some pieces of plastic in there somewhere, but we won't know more until we can actually get our hands on it. As soon as they are available to the public, I'm picking one up immediately. So this CR10 isn't like a traditional dual extruder, like the one that I've been working on. So instead of actually having two Hot extruders, end. you only have one and it's set up just like a cyclops. So, picture. You can see there's two PTFE tubes going down into it and there's only one nozzle that you can have for it. Um, there's both positives and negatives to this. Uh, I'm not really sure why they chose to go with this as opposed to doing a completely dual hot end as opposed to doing a completely crash. As opposed to doing a completely dual hot end. Sorry, the camera crashed. The phone fell off. Uh, but nonetheless, that's what it is. But it still looks fantastic. The extruder now has three fans instead of two on it. So yeah, it looks great. Now, let's move on. So it's now using a touch screen instead of a traditional LCD screen to turn it on. Um, I know a lot of people have wanted that. I don't really care personally, but we'll see how it goes. They also included a new print surface. Now you still have your glass plate that they're going to include, but it is what looks like coated with their own special surface. Um, they say once it heats up, it's really sticky, but once it cools down, everything just pops right off easily. So, so that's something to look forward to as well. I want to see how that works as opposed to you know, the lock builds or the PEIs or the build tax and the stuff that we are currently using. They've also added in a dual Z. Now, it's not using two motors like a dual Z kit does. It's using the one motor and a belt pulley system to actually drive the secondary one, which I always recommend everybody do a dual Z on their CR10 anyway, so that's a good thing that they went ahead and included it. But that is all the information that we have on the CRX right now. Um, what do you guys think about it? Are you as excited about it as I am? Do you feel it's a waste of time and money? It looks like they've taken all of our concerns that us as the community have given to them and they have addressed everything and fixed them. So hopefully it comes out as good as what it looks, but only time will tell. That's all I got today, guys. Until next time, see ya.